Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another Destiny video. And in today's video, I want to speak to you guys about the Age of Triumph. Last week, Friday, Bungie put out a blog post where they gave us a roadmap for the month ahead, as well as a tiny bit of information on Destiny 2. So if you guys missed that, I will link my video down below. However, as a very quick summary, the Age of Triumph is designed to be the final live event in Destiny 1, effectively bringing all the events up until now to a close, ahead of, of course, our transition to Destiny 2. And in order to shed some light on this, draw back the curtain, tell us what it's all about, Bungie have three different live streams planned across the next three weeks. The first one is this week Wednesday on the 8th of March at 10am Pacific time, 6pm UK time, and of course the other two are the following Wednesdays. However, ahead of this week's stream they also dropped a 30 second teaser, and this teaser trailer all but confirms some of the kind of speculations that I had in my previous video, so I thought what we'd do is do a quick breakdown. If you do enjoy this, then a like would be super appreciated, any questions drop them down below, but let's get started. So the very first thing you will see after, of course, the introduction sort of logo, this is basically the crest that summarizes Age of Triumph. And of course, as I mentioned last time, you'll see that the raids are very prominent in the top left crest. However, the first thing we see is a cutscene with a guardian wearing the new Rise of Iron gear and speaking to the speaker. Now, what's quite interesting about this is because this live event is designed to bring closure to effectively Destiny as we know it right now, I would like to think they're going to introduce some story missions in this live event, hopefully with some sort of cutscenes, because as mentioned, if it is designed to bring closure, then hopefully there'll be some sort of cinematic aspect to it. I certainly wouldn't expect any sort of CG cutscenes, but at least if there were some story elements that basically gave context to what we're doing right now, and perhaps foreshadow some events that are yet to come, that could be pretty cool. Of course, right now, we still don't know that, but the fact that we've actually seen a current Guardian speaking to the speaker, hopefully that means some kind of story content. However, moving on from there, we then get a look at what is, of course, going to be the crux of the update, and that is the biggest record book yet. This is the Year 3 Age of Triumph record book, and of course, when you open it up, we're going to have loads of different things to do. In fact, if you fast forward to this part here, where they have some text on screen, this is, of course, a few snippets of some of the things we're going to be doing in the record book. You have Doom of Oryx down in the bottom left, which basically confirms that we'll be returning to the King's Fall Raid. You, of course, have Race to the Finish, which would make me think there may well be some sort of Sparrow Racing League component to it. You have things like Shock and Awe, Hunter and Hunted. So I'm going to imagine there may well be components for different classes. If that's the case, then those of you guys that have all three different classes, of course, are going to be able to get the most out of this. You also have things like You're the Hero that could be potentially story related. Show your might in the dark. The dark could, of course, refer to, say, Crotus and Raid and a few other things like that. So interesting things to think about. But either way, that is a sample of some of the stuff we're going to be going after. But following on from there, something I said last week was that, of course, the crest effectively hinted at the return of the raids and, of course, some of the icons. Well, now that they are actively showing footage of Guardians entering the Vault of Glass wearing new gear, it pretty much confirms that is the case. And that, my friends, is pretty much it. After that, it just says rediscover your legend, says who's going to be during the live stream, and, of course, gives us the time. So not a great deal in that 30 seconds, but enough to effectively confirm some of our suspicions. So a super exciting time. Goes without saying, you're going to want to make sure you tune in on Wednesday. And of course, if you guys can't catch that stream, then definitely keep it locked to the channel because I will do a full breakdown for you guys straight after letting you guys know everything that you missed. So thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know if you guys are hyped. And take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.